Everyone wants the latest, the greatest drawing tech, but there's something to be said about a good, simple drawing tablet. Today, I have got five, I'm talking five reasons why a simple drawing tablet might be the perfect choice for you. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals. We're talking about illustrators, designers, Terry Crews. I mean, he has a Cintiq 24, so there is a slim chance he's watching this channel, right? No? Okay, let's go on. Hey, I don't have a sponsor this week, so I should mention my online courses. Where you can learn about Procreate, Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, or just get started in digital art. Link in the description. On to the video. First of all, little bit of a disclaimer here. I love drawing on a screen. You pick up the pen, you put it down, you can see exactly where that mark is being made on a canvas. It's really intuitive and it's very different than those inexpensive drawing tablets where you have to build up some eye-hand coordination. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best tool for the job. And so today I'm going to go over my five reasons why I think a simple drawing tablet might be the best choice for your artistic career. All right, so we have numbered these. I've got number one, we're gonna talk about ergonomics. If you're drawing on a screen, chances are you get it at a nice comfortable angle at your desk and then you're looking down at it. And if you're working like that all day, every day, over time, it's gonna hurt you, your neck, your back, you're gonna pay the price. These devices do unfortunately encourage bad posture. And getting up and stretching every couple hours is probably really good advice for artists. Heck, it's probably good advice for anybody who works in a normal office environment. But sitting in a chair with your back straight, looking ahead at a monitor while you have something off to the side or right in front of you, it's just gonna be way better for your back and neck in the long run. And if we're talking about a career that's gonna last 40 or 50 years. Wait, do people really work for 50 years? Okay, let's stick with 40. 40 years is a long time to be hunched over a screen. Ergonomics 101 with Dr. Brad. Don't call me a doctor. I'm not, I am not a doctor. Brad's tips for keeping yourself healthy. All right, I'll play along. First, set a timer for every hour so that you get up, stretch your back, stretch your wrists, and make sure you take care of yourself. There's actually some really good videos on this. These are the two that I would totally recommend you checking out. This was another episode of unsolicited medical advice with Dr. Brad. Again, not a doctor, don't sue me. All right, are we ready for reason number two? More bang for your buck. That means cheaper. This is the obvious reason. I know most of you probably jumped to it as soon as you clicked on the video. These things are much cheaper. Even the highest end Wacom devices are cheaper than the, uh, okay, Wacom's a bad example. But even the higher end Hui on HS610 or the XP Pen Deco are great drawing tablets that are a really good size for under $100. These are definitely professional level tools. That one was too obvious, Brad, you stupid face. Okay, okay, let's move on to number three. port a uh Ability, or as I like to call it, move aroundiness. Even one of the larger tablets is gonna fit pretty easily into a laptop bag, and these days, they're pretty light, especially the new ones. Now, an iPad or a Surface Pro, those are both really portable, but yeah, see reason number two. Also, some of the newer Intuos tablets come with Bluetooth, which takes the cords out of the equation when you're traveling around with it. You might think, hey, what about a smaller screen tablet like the XP Pen 12 or the Huion 13? And even though those are smaller, you could fit them in a laptop bag. You still got to be near a power outlet. You still got to bring your laptop with you. There's also the like the HDMI USB cords. So yes, they're kind of portable, but no, not really. Hey, you guys want reason number four? I got, I got reason number four. Reason number four is reliability. Hey, electronics break. It, it happens sometimes, unfortunately, but these drawing tablets aren't doing as many things. And when you're not doing as many things, there are less things that can break on you. I can't really speak for the more inexpensive tech like XP Pen and Huion. I haven't used those for the long haul, but I know illustrators that are still using their Intuos 3 tablets years later. I get comments all the time saying, hey, this is cool, but my Intuos 4 still works like the day I got it. This is, of course, all anecdotal. I don't have any data on this. I don't know math. I can't even count. Where am I? What I can say is I've never seen a comment saying, wow, I'm still using my Cintiq from 2009. Never seen that comment, probably never will. Okay, here we go, we've made it to five. Reason number five, what is reason number five? Tools don't matter as much as you think they do. 
Oh, guys, don't, no, don't unsubscribe, no! Kidding aside, I understand this is a review channel, so I love to talk about hardware and software, and I geek out about this stuff. And I feel like I say this all the time in my videos, but at the end of the day, a new product isn't going to make your art any better. The only thing that's gonna do that is you, and you putting in the time and effort to do that yourself. And I will say this, I have fallen in the trap of saying, wow, if I could have that thing, I could make better stuff, and I have reviewed a lot of stuff and I could say with complete honesty, I have never gotten a piece of hardware that has made me a better illustrator. There's a lot to be said for familiarity. For example, I'm very familiar with using an iPad so I feel like I can create better art on an iPad but that's really because I'm used to the software and I'm used to the hardware, not because I'm just better at drawing on that particular piece of hardware. Okay, I didn't expect to lose this many subscribers here. I hate to do this but we gotta pay the bills, guys. If you don't have the Drawtron 8000 with the ray tracing pen engine ray tracing pen engine and the lemur powered voice activated shortcuts powered by real lemur there is no way you're gonna make it in this industry you're right? a giant, giant box, box of failure. failure end of story bye 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 nice good to have you guys back with me so if you're brand new to digital art have any questions about this video these videos are a good place to start and again if you have any comments or questions let me know down below in the comment section thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in a couple of days